Hello friends, today we are going to learn ambulance building CPT codes. So ambulance transportation is a covered service when the patient condition is such that the use of any other method of transportation would endanger the patient's health. The CPT code for ambulance transport. There are CPT code for ground ambulance service and refers to the both land and water transportation and selection of codes would be based on the service rendered and the patient's condition at the time of transport. So moving on the first CPT code, CPT A0425, it's a ground mileage statute mile. So mile is nothing but kilometers, approximately 1.6 kilometer. So when the billing keeping code A0425, the number of loaded mileage is required in the service unit field on the climb. So whenever we build any climb, we have to mention the mileage in the climb. Otherwise, the climb will be denied by the insurance. If procedure code A0425 is an AT modifier, it is nothing but emergency transport. It is built on the climb for ambulance, emergency ambulance service. The climb must include the number of loaded miles traveled. That is the number of miles traveled between the, the time the client is loaded on the ambulance and the time the client is up, unloaded uh, from the ambulance. So client is nothing but it's a an patient. If mileage is not indicated on the climb, only the base rate may be reimbursed. So whenever we climb, build a climb, we have to mention the mileage. Also the ET modifier, this emergency transport modifier. If you miss to mention the modifier, then the insurance company pay only the base rate of the reimbursement. Right, and whenever we mention the mileage, we have to use the decimal points. If it is a 6.2 mileage, we have to mention 6.2 mile. Okay, and if it is it is a less than 100, if it is the trip is you know the mileage is a um, above 100 and above, then we can round up. Say here the for trip totaling 100 covered miles and greater report mileage round up to the whole number mile without use of decimal so here if you want if the mileage is uh, no more than 100 and above so you can uh, you can round up the mileage here 1990 998.5 miles we can round up to 999 miles okay all right and moving on to the next cpt code a0426 and A0426 is nothing but it's an advanced life support non-emergency transport level ASL1 that's include ne medical necessary supplies and service and provisions at least a one ALS intervention but not limited to the administration of IV fluid peripheral venous puncture blood drawing monitor IV solution during the transport and content potassium administration of approved medication IV sub Q sublingual nebulizer inhalation and linked to do delight and the thigh site only so when the pa the patient is available for these um, advanced life supports are all the necessary supplies available in the in the ambulance that basic supplies like gluco glucometer oxygen and also two paramedic will be available in the in the advanced life support all right and as uh, advanced life support emergency so in same like you know in uh, the emergency is nothing but whenever a patient requires any immediate or transportation and they will call to the ambulance team and they will immediately come and take the patient to the nearest hospital. So that's come, that falls under the emergency service. So whenever we build this code along with the modifier and we have to use a correct emergency modifier otherwise the claim will be denied. All right, and moving on to the other CPT code, and this is A0428, and it is a basic life support non-emergency transport, and it's a transportation by the ground ambulance vehicle and the provision of medical necessary supplies and service, including BLS ambulance service as defined by the state. The ambulance must be staffed by the individual who is qualified according with state and local laws as emergency medical technician based on EMT spaces. So when I see for basic life support as per the state law, there are qualified staff will be available in the transport in the sense in the ambulance. Okay, for the basic life support and the basic equipment will be available in the ambulance to reach the hospital. So and this law may vary from the state to state within a state. For example, only in one jurisdiction is a EMT basic permitted to operate limited equipment 
on board the vehicle assist more qualified professional in performing assessment and intervention and establish a peripheral intravenous line okay moving on to CPT code A0429, it's a basic life support and emergency transport when medical necessary, the provision of BLS service as specified above in the context of emergency response. An emergency response is one that the time of ambulance supply is called, it responds immediately. An immediate response is one in which the ambulance supply begins as quickly as possible to take the steps necessarily to respond to the call. So there's nothing but the basic life support emergency and where the patient called the uh, ambulance service immediately they respond they will take the patient to the nearest hospital and necessary equipment will be available in the uh, the basic life support emergency like you know supply like glucometer and uh, defibrillation aspirin pulse oximeter oxygen mask and uh, spinal immobilization uh, 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 equipment will be available here okay all right and uh, moving on to the next CPT code a0433 it's an advanced life support level 2 includes medical necessary supplies and service at the least three separate administration of one or more medication by intravenous push or by the continuous infusion excluding a crystalline hypotonic and isotonic and hypotonic solution or transportation medically necessary supplies and service and the provision of at least one of the following procedure manual defibrillations and cardioversion central venous line cardiac basic chest decompression surgical airway so when the patient arrives these ambulance service and the and the glucometer and the def defibrillation and uh, you know aspirin uh, pulse oximeter oxygen and two um, paramedic will be available in the advanced life support also and the highly skilled staff will be in the ambulance okay and now moving on to cpt code a0434 is nothing but specialty care transport specialty care transport is a intra-facility transportation of a critical injured or ill beneficiary by the ground ambulance vehicle including the provision of medical necessary supplies and service at the level of service beyond the scope of emt paramedic paramedic is nothing but and the paramedic who is specialized in the emergency treatment okay so here i mentioned some hand guides some i know for you for reference you don't want to go through this video again and again so i just made some hand guide with cpd code and description you can take this if you need if you can take this note and uh, you can realize and how are you working on ambulance building Thanks for watching my video. If you have any doubts, please leave your questions in the comment box. I'm happy to respond to that.